Welcome back to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in today. Uh, I wanted to do this little short video uh, today uh, to answer a question that one of my subscribers asked, and he asked the simple question: How do you would you, could you do a video about how to start prepping? And the answer is yes, but it, it's not going to be in this long in one long video. So I'm going to give you some things to think about and to look at and this goes for everybody that's watching this video and thinking hey how do I start prepping because it, it is fairly long and in detail about all the small little details that go into prepping so what I would suggest is a lot of research and you know I know everybody in today's you know times and I'm not saying this about the subscriber that asked this question they want everything kind of spoon fed to them and everything else and that's fine um, but there's going to take a lot of research and a lot of research and I gain knowledge myself by researching looking on YouTube looking for ideas looking for stuff you know going on websites there's prepping forums that I suggest you become a member of and before you start asking a bunch of questions usually it's probably been answered already so don't go on a new prepping forum you know survivalist type prepping forum and start just asking questions 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 start researching your question you know bug out bags i'm sure they've stickied that topic uh somewhere in that forum look on those and as you start going through those and gathering your information then go in and start asking your detailed questions but um you know what i look at in prepping when you're going to start you know some of the things you got to consider you know, even the federal government requests that citizens be prepared for about 72 hour, uh, a 72 hour emergency of some sort, man made or otherwise, um, or, you know, natural disaster type uh, situation. So you got to look at shelter, water, food, protection, first aid, medical. So those are kind of in, in the prepping circles, and I'm sure there a lot of people's heard this as watching this beans, bullets, and band aids. Well, uh, that's fine, and I've done other videos where a lot of people spend too much money on bullets and not enough on food or water, or things like that. So you're looking at, when you're prepping, you got to look at about 72 hours, one week, one month, one year, and a lifetime. Lifetime is just something really crazy change, you know, happen that changed the face of the world as it is that we know it currently and it's probably going to take you know not my lifetime it will it won't happen in my lifetime to get it back to where it was so you got to be able to survive that and then you get into really th really deep things like you know planting gardens creating your own food basically going back to colonial type times where um you know it's just different so hopefully that never happens. Obviously, we uh, never wish for those things. Sometimes we do just to make it simpler, you know, simpler life. But uh, most people enjoy our modern times for the most part. I, I kind of have a mix because I grew up in the country um, with grandparents that uh, grew up in the Great Depression. They didn't have, uh, they heated by wood and they had no air conditioning in their home, wood frame farmhouse. And, uh, you know, my grand great grandfather wore coveralls. They split their own wood killed their own hogs i mean i just grew up in that environment so it was more like a depression era it's like they were frozen in time uh he didn't drive a lot he did have a car but he very rarely drove didn't like spending the money um they canned their own goods had a root cellar um you know would cure their own uh hams for the winter all kinds of things so i just grew up in that environment as a child and it just kind of carried over i don't I've, i said this many times in my videos i don't look at it as prepping it's just life it's just life in general the way it was when i grew up and how i was brought up you know they can their own preserves and their jellies and had fruit trees and gardens and all that things that go along with it they never threw away anything so they'd have a washing machine that broke and they would put it out in the barn because they might need a part on it to fix their tractor one day a hose or a clamp or this or that um so in modern times it's a little different and people are more of a throwaway type mentality and i understand that but um research 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 because um, it's going to be very difficult for any one person to do a video that long about the, from start to finish and prepping. I just you have to be prepared. Again, 72 hours, one week, one month, one year, lifetime. That's kind of the cycle the way I look at it. 
And don't try going for a lifetime unless you just got big money and you can, you know, dedicate the next two or three months to research and how much money you can, you're, you're going to dump into it. And wham, you're ready to go and survive a lifetime or a year at least. Um, so pace yourself when you're going out and starting to collect food. Do it small increments at a time. Look on the websites, look on the forums, look on the internet about what foods to store and how to store them, and then start gathering up some of that stuff and putting it aside. You don't have to spend a lot of money on the front end. Uh, I talk about this. You can go through my video list about things to store and how to store them. There's a couple videos about that. Water's number one, food second, in my opinion. I, you cannot live, I can live a lot longer without food than I can water. Might be as comfortable might be hungry, but you're not going to dehydrate and start doing bad things to your body. You start de dehydrating things, organs start shutting down, you start losing your mental capacity, all kinds of things. Got to have water, so you got to look at a water source, rain barrels, stored water, whatever. And if you look, you're going to, if you're trying to figure out, okay, how much, and there's websites dedicated to this too, that's got a calculator that tells you how much you're going to need of whatever you're storing. So water, plan on at least about a gallon to two gallons a day because you're going to need X amount of gallons for uh, consuming. And then you're going to need X amount of that gallons for hygiene. Hygiene is going to be another important one. So we've got to stay clean. You start getting into skin problems and things like that, irritation, rashes, those can become problematic pretty quick. You can get some infection, things like that. So hygiene, medical, beans, bullets, and band-aids, they call it. Uh, you hear that a lot in the prepping community. So just keep all that in mind. Don't watch, again, do the research. Don't go out and just start buying stuff without doing a lot of research and thought about it first. I'm not saying everything I say is right and, and the only way to go because there's a lot of good people out here with a lot of good information. So just, uh, if you have a question before you spend your hard-earned money, money, ask around to two or three different sources to see. Watch two or three different videos and see if they're saying the same thing over and over again. Because, in my opinion, I think a lot of people waste a little too much money on medical sometimes, and I've done a video about that. They're, they're spending all this money, and they're not prior, prioritizing their medical. I talk about this in one of my videos. I've got medicines that went out of date, you know, in 1992, and it's somehow still in my medicine cabinet, and I never used it. Because if, you, if you're a fairly healthy person, I mean, I just took some Advil today. I woke up with a headache and I had a headache most of the day. That's the first Advil I'd taken in probably four months. So, you know, that one bottle is going to start, you know, eventually going out of date, things like that. So people go out and they buy all this huge supplies of Advil and Tylenol and all these other things to just kind of go bad. I would buy enough, you know, good supplies of medical and, and especially on your bleeding. That's one thing that will kill you real quick uh, if you don't get bleeding stopped. Uh, antibiotics, we talk about that. That's in that video. I'd rather see people spend twice as much money on antibiotics and half as much on a lot of the bean or as far as the band-aid side of it um the general first aid stuff nothing wrong with that i have it i want everybody to have it but just keep that in mind that uh, i think some of that um people spend a little too much money on that oral hygiene is important in a long term especially 72 hours i'm not too worried about it if i don't brush my teeth for 72 hours long term you better keep some good oral hygiene or you're gonna start having some problems there too and matter of fact, in the 1800s, back long ago before modern medicine, a lot of people committed suicide and all kinds of things because of literally teeth problems. It's documented in history. Um, that, that, and it killed a lot of people because of infection and stuff. And a lot of people committed suicide because they had chronic uh, teeth, you know, dental pain. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, do a lot of research. Pace yourself, start out small, start doing what you can afford, um, you know, and everybody that's different. And, you know, some people, $5 a week. If that's the case, then buy you $5 worth of rice and beans a week. Uh, and, a, you know, a few boxes of, you know, Band-Aid here or this or that or a box of ammunition. Protection. You got to have protection to protect what you're actually prepping with, you're saving. So... Do research on firearms. If you don't currently have a firearm, you at least need one. If I'm going to recommend one firearm, it's going to be a pistol. Um, you know, I wouldn't buy a little small pocket pistol. I would probably buy a medium, uh, what I call duty-ready style pistol, like a Glock 19 size from a reputable company. If you can't afford that, I understand. Um, and some people may go, high point, are you crazy? Uh, high point firearms are inexpensive and they are proven to be fairly reliable, believe it or not. I know a lot of people are going to cringe, but, um, you know, they actually do pretty decent for what they are. 
here's my thing though if you can afford a better firearm don't go out and be a cheapskate and buy high point instead that's not what i'm saying what i am saying is if you are just that in a situation where you just can't afford any more go ahead and buy you a high point i understand that but if you can literally afford uh you know a pre-owned glock 19 or a glock 17 or something buy that um the other thing i would buy some type of long gun um probably my first choice uh you know would be an ar-15 but in reality i think that's probably not realistic for most uh so i would say my first choice for a long gun would be a 12 gauge shotgun you can buy 12 gauge shotguns even brand new from walmart and places if you look for like a maverick 88 which is made by mossberg uh like 200 dollars or less you can buy a box of 100 rounds of ammo um, shotgun shells for 25 bucks. So that'll get you started. But again, those are my two things. A pistol, because a pistol you can carry with you. A shotgun I can't always tote along with me. A pistol I can keep with me all the time for protection. Make sure you got enough ammo and a couple spare magazines. Then the... Um, then the shotgun would be secondary, but uh, that's that would be the two first firearms I would probably buy. A shotgun can kill everything from, you know, a dove to a bear, uh, deer and, and all the things in between with the right ammunition. So those would probably be my first go-to uh, firearms, uh, you know, if you're going to you know buy that. And I recommend everybody, if you're serious about prepping, you've got some form of protection firearm. Um, and then other secondary things like pepper spray and so forth. So again, I could talk about this all night long and break it all down. So I'm just kind of giving you some cliff notes of where I think you need to be as far as starting prepping. So anyway, guys, um, you know, the other thing to consider too is making sure you have uh, things like batteries and radios, communication, whatever. Again, it's all broken down. It's a really long list, uh, but the research you should be able to find uh, out there if you'll just apply yourself and look and kind of see but my main thing is research pace yourself on what you're spending making sure that you're taking your time and look at it from just a small 72 hour uh, window so what I mean by that is how much water how much food how much protection how much you know batteries flashlights all those things do I need for 72 hours and then you can expand it a little further, a little further, a little further, a little further out each time to incorporate more time. So a week, how much do I need for a week? Okay, well, this this batteries that I got should last me. This should last me. This should last me. The water should last me, whatever. So then you just keep growing it. And, uh, you know, again, you're, are you going to store a year's worth of water in your house? I personally have it, but I, that may not be the case for everybody because of room and things like that. But you at least got to have a water source that you can go to or consider whether that's a rain barrel with some type of rain system you could set up uh things like that so anyway guys appreciate you tuning in i hope this kind of gives the cliff notes of where i where i think you need to be to start prepping and i hope it's helpful to the person that inquired i do appreciate those comments and people asking those questions that's always appreciative on the channel and, and the uh, interaction with the uh viewers um i really like so anyway guys appreciate you tuning in if you like our videos give us the thumbs up we're going to name this guy i call him fred the zombie but uh, eventually we're going to have a little contest to name him uh, eventually but he's our little mascot here at the channel uh but anyway guys appreciate you tuning in as always like share and subscribe and we bring another video shortly have a great day guys